So I thought you would like to see uh, some of the mad scientist kind of stuff I do down here on the weekends at the epicenter. Uh, right now I am doing some testing with both the cup charger and the uh, power pot. And uh, I've got identical stoves going on and identical fuel. And then I've got a, an Arduino processor here uh, outputting data through four COM ports out to a computer over here, a little laptop that is uh, running this display and it's plotting voltage, current, temperature, and calculating power. And uh, I'll go over that in a minute, but this is the kind of the interesting thing. Um, I have this set up to do some maximum power tracking, uh, peak power tracking kind of thing. And uh, I have some stepper motors that are being run by the Arduino. And they're turning some gears, which turn some variable resistors. So I've got one for each one of these. And uh, then I've got some, some high precision uh, current shunts here. So this unit is measuring the voltage and the current for both of these units. And then it's calculating power and displaying that. And also over here are some uh, Adafruit K-type thermocouple uh, signal conditioners. Those are digital, so they're hooked up to digital lines over here. And they're connected to these K-type thermocouple probes that are inserted in the, uh, in the water so that we can see when the water is boiling. And uh, what we have going on here with this chart Let's see, the red line is the output power from the uh, cup charger, and the green line is from the power pot. And then there's a blue line right there, and that's a reference. That's a 3-watt reference line, so we can just see if it's producing more or less. And uh, now that the water's been boiling for a while, and you can see the temperature's up here at 100 degrees C boiling, um, you can see that both these units produce very similar amounts of power. And uh, in here we had very cold water, so we had a pretty good temperature difference up here um, between the heat and the uh, fire. And then as that water warmed up, as this temperature increased, you see the power decreased, but it's stabilized out here now that the, now that the uh, temperature is right at 100 degrees. You can see that the cup charger and the power pot are producing about the same amount of power. It looks like about 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 watts difference. Uh, so that's very, very comparable and uh, what I was expecting. So, But here we are doing a demonstration and uh, there will be a full video on this on the YouTube channel here pretty soon. Um, and uh, I'll have all this graph stuff captured and we'll have some cameras on all of this stuff so anyway that's what I do on my weekends one interesting thing about those brackets uh, for the stepper motors so that they can turn those knobs or the variable resistors is I actually designed those in Google SketchUp and uh, printed them on my 3d printer so this is my 3d printer monstrosity uh, that I put together. This has been up and running for about uh, six months or so and uh, boy it is it is just really handy being able to design stuff and and make it you know there's a there's a good example. Uh, this one also has a an Arduino processor in here and uh, anyway probably do a video on these 3D printers and uh, how cool they are, what, what you can do with them. But that's a pretty good example right there. So, for the Epicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.